Majur once said, a charming capital famous for imperial palaces, classic architecture and charming Christmas markets, cafe culture and chocolate cake. No, not that one. Ballroom dancing and dancing horses, although admittedly those two are only trotting. The birthplace of such great composers as Schubert, Strauss and Falco, Vienna was also the adopted home of Beethoven and Mozart, all now buried here with three million others in Vienna's famous central cemetery. One other name truly synonymous with Vienna was also laid to rest here. The name Grun may not immediately spring to mind, and with no disrespect to the family, none of them were actually famous. Hours before the first Grun was buried here in 1948, the grave was used by director Carol Reed to film the burial scenes of Harry Lyme, the main character from Graham Greene's novel The Third Man. It's worth noting the delightful coincidence here that Lyme, created by Greene, was buried with the family Grun. The story of The Third Man, set and filmed in the city during the aftermath of the Second World War, follows American author Holly Martins in search of his long-lost friend Harry Lyme, who out of the blue invited Martins over to Vienna for a reunion. But on arrival at Lyme's apartment, Martins learns that only the day before, Lyme had been hit by a car. A shady character called Kurtz tells Martins that both he and fellow friend Pepescu, who both just happened to be passing at the time, carried the injured Lyme over to the statue opposite. It was here Lyme apparently uttered his last words, asking Kurtz and Pepescu to look after Martins and Lyme's girlfriend, Anna. The porter's version of events, however, is very different to Kurtz. Although he didn't witness the hit itself, the porter did see a dead body dressed like Lyme lying in the road. He then saw the body being carried over to the statue by Kurtz, Popescu and a third man. As the story unfolds, we learn that this third man was in fact Harry Lyme himself. Lyme had been selling black market penicillin to local hospitals, which proved fatal to anyone treated with it. The police were on to Lyme, and in order to escape capture, Lyme staged his own death with the help of Kurtz and Popescu and a murdered police informant who played Lyme's corpse. The twist in the story that Lyme is actually still alive is revealed in the movie here, in one of the most iconic character reveals in cinematic history. Anna's cat draws Martin's attention to a figure that's clearly hiding in the darkened doorway. A light from a window above is switched on, revealing the figure to be Lime. But no sooner do we realise it is Lime, he disappears back into the shadows. Martins gives chase and loses Lime here in Am Hof. The square doesn't look much different today than how Carol Reed presented it in the film, apart from the fancy kiosk that helped Lyme disappear down into the sewers. The kiosk had just been a film prop, but sewer kiosks did and still exist in Vienna. This one opposite the city's concert house is still in use today, leading down to the sewers underneath that park, the very location Reed filmed the sewer chase scenes. Vienna is so proud of the Third Man movie, it even has a museum dedicated to it near Kettenbruckengasse. Visitors are treated to a vast collection of Third Man memorabilia, the original zither used by Anton Karas, and fancy props to reenact famous Third Man scenes. The museum also explores both the history of the Third Man's Vienna as well as Vienna's true Third Man. In February 1934, civil war broke out between socialists and ruling fascists, culminating in a battle here at the Karl Marx apartment block north of the city centre. The trapped socialists escaped through the nearby sewer tunnels with help from the infamous double agent Kim Philby, whom Graham Greene worked for and befriended at Britain's MI6 a few years later. One can only guess then where and whom Greene got the idea for Lyme's escapades from. 
Although Karl Marx Hof doesn't feature in the Third Man movie, it does appear in another Viennese post-war drama, The Night Porter, where Zepp Bogart and Charlotte Rampling are trapped here for several days before making their escape, albeit not down the sewers. Ask people to quote a line from The Third Man and they will probably say cuckoo clock, the punchline to the famous brotherly love speech Lime gives to Martins on leaving Vienna's iconic Ferris wheel. Taking passengers since 1897, the giant wheel is an enduring symbol of survival for the city. It was almost destroyed in a fire during the final weeks of World War II, but was rebuilt and back in business less than two years later just in time for Carol Reed and the film crew. The views over the city are absolutely stunning. At its highest point of 65 metres, the people below really do look like dots. Although Reed filmed the exteriors here, the scenes inside the carriage between Martins and Lyme were not, filmed instead at Shepparton Studios. But that doesn't stop fans imagining themselves with Lyme in one of the actual carriages, nor indeed stop them from writing their names on the glass, much to the annoyance of the Ferris wheel window cleaners. Hello, uh, what is this current? This is the third man. <laughs> oh, it's a line. 